everybody. I am so excited to be back to read another story with you. Today, we are going to be reading about the horse's life cycle. This book is meant for third grade students, and I am so excited to read it with all of you. This book is titled Horse Life Cycle, and it is by Eric Charlesworth. It's another scholastic book that we will be reading today. Before we begin reading, I wanted to ask you guys if you already know anything about horses or their life cycle. Well, if you do, that's great. But if not, that's okay because this book is going to teach us everything we need to know. And another question I have for you is what do you hope to learn about horses or their life cycle today? So let's begin by looking at the different chapters in this book. Chapter one is titled All About Horses. Chapter two is titled A Fool is Born. Chapter three is Growing and Learning. And chapter four is called Caring for Horses. Let's get started by reading chapter one, All About Horses. Giddy up, it's time to learn all about the exciting lives of horses. And then the fast fact says that there are about 750 million horses in the world. Horses are mammals. That means that they have hair on their bodies and they drink their mother's milk. Horses are in the same animal family as zebras and donkeys. So let's take a look at this picture. This is a horse and this is a zebra. They are part of the same animal family, but it is important to notice that they are not the exact same. So can you point out one difference that you notice between the horse and the zebra? The first difference that I notice is that the zebra has stripes and the horse does not. There are more than 200 different kinds of horses. They can be brown, tan, white, gray, or black. Some have special marks like these. So let's take a look at the picture. This horse has a stripe down its nose and it says that this kind of mark is called a blaze. But this horse just has a dot on its head between its eyes. And it says that this kind of mark is called a star. Horses come in all sizes. Big ones stand seven feet tall. Small ones are shorter than you. And then this girl is shown riding a miniature horse but all horses start out as fools. Do you guys know what a fool is? Well, a fool is the term for a baby horse that has just been born. Let's learn about their life cycles. Now we are going to start chapter two, a fool is born. The fast fact says that fools are usually born at night. This picture shows a newborn fool most fools are born in the springtime. And then another fast fact is that female horses usually give birth to one fool at a time. Fools can walk and run when they are only a few hours old. If they fall down, they get right back up. They love to move around. And then another fast fact is that horses are herbivores. That means that they eat plants, but not meat. At first, fools only drink milk from their mothers, but within a month, they begin to nibble on grass and hay. When horses are a little older, they are ready for special treats like carrots and apples. They also like sugar cubes. And then this illustration says, smile, horses grow baby teeth just like people do. When horses turn one, it is called a yearling. A yearling is too young to ride, but it can be taught to follow simple directions like walking and standing. This picture shows a horse that is yearling. Can you guys guess how much a yearling horse weighs? Well, let's find out. All that eating and exercising helps a fool to grow and grow. At birth, an average horse weighs 100 pounds, but at one year, it weighs 700 pounds. So a one-year-old horse that is a yearling horse 
weighs 700 pounds. Wow. Now we are on to chapter three, growing and learning. Happy birthday. This horse is three years old and it is almost all grown up. Adult female horses are called mares and adult male horses are called stallions. Take a look at this adult horse. The hair on its neck is called its mane. Its chin, mouth, and nostrils together are called its muzzle. That bump on the horse's back is called its withers. It's just a very little bump you can barely see and that is its withers. Three-year-old horses are old enough to ride. They learn to follow directions like trot, canter, and gallop. Galloping is the fastest movement of all. Five-year-old horses are ready for bigger challenges. Some are trained to race on tracks or jump in shows. Wow. So let's look at these pictures. This is trot, canter, gallop, and jump. If you were to ride a horse, what would you let the horse do while you were on its back? I would probably just let it trot. Some horses are trained to work on ranches. This one is helping to move all the cattle to another place. Ride them, cowboy. And then a fast fact is that horses have been used to help herd cattle for hundreds of years. Do you guys know what herd means? Well, herd means that they gather all the animals together and get them to go to one location. And then another fast fact is that officers who work on horseback are called mounted police. Some horses are even trained to work in big cities. This police officer rides on a horse instead of in a car. Why? A horse can fit through small places that a police car can't. Now we are on to chapter four, caring for horses. To grow healthy and strong, Horses need tender, loving care. Their stables should be filled with plenty of hay and water. Some horses drink 15 gallons of water a day. And then this picture shows that these are tools for grooming horses. Horses also need to be groomed. It is important to brush their coats and remove small rocks from their shoes. This keeps their feet from getting injured when they run. Do any of you know what a coat on a horse is? Well, it's similar to a coat that we wear as people. It refers to the horse's fur and their fur is what keeps them warm, much like a coat keeps us warm. And then a fast fact is that most horses live to be about 25 years old. Horses also need a lot of exercise. What is one of the best ways for them to exercise? Taking long rides in the country, of course. Giddy up. So now that we are finished with our story, I would love to ask you guys some questions. My first question is what is one new fact that you learned about the horse today? Well, that's a great fact. And then my last question for you guys is which part of the horse's life cycle was most fun for you to learn about? I really enjoyed learning about the full stage of the horse when they are just born, but all of the stages of their life cycle were so much fun to learn about with you. I'm so excited that you guys read with me today and I hope you come back and read with me again soon.